Hi guys and welcome to the studio. So if you're anything like me then you will love having a little nosy into my art cart and to see what different products I use. So I hope you enjoy the video. So I'm going to start from the bottom and go upwards because I feel like the top ones are a little bit more exciting so you have to wait and find out what they are. Okay so starting at the bottom. The first thing is this GAC 100 which is just basically it's kind of like a see-through acrylic film. I mean, as you know, if you use oil paint, you can't just use it straight on any kind of surface because it has chemical things that can eat into paper and so forth. So this is really good to put on a layer if you like to oil paint on different surfaces that aren't yet ready for oil paint. So like paper, wood, things like that. Okay, so the next thing is this, oh, I think you say it giant but it's basically a fixative spray that you put on like charcoal drawings and pastel drawings and that kind of thing. So anything that I do in charcoal, especially if I'm going to end up painting on the top, I just give it a good spray with that and it just seals all the charcoal in there. Word of warning, please use this either in a very well ventilated space or outside because it's really like fumy. So the next things are gloves, which I use for oil painting because it's really bad to get on your skin. Um, but also acrylic paint is not great to get on your skin either because it has lots of chemicals. Just to be on the safe side, you really, you know, ought to use gloves really. This is really boring, it's just an old plant pot that's got lots of messy things in like old lids with dried liquid on and things that are a bit disgusting and I don't want to get them anywhere. This is a cute little jam jar pot that I use for putting mixtures into use with oil paint. So, so this one has a mixture of turps and linseed oil in. This is a little pot which I use to keep my blades in. So these are what I scrape off a palette with. Um, I've got three because they keep getting very, very gunked up. And these are just the little blades that go inside. Um, if you use these, please be really, really careful because, you know, blades can actually cause a lot of damage. This is a matte varnish that is used for oil painting, which I'm going to be honest, I've never used. So, this is a really big jar of purified linseed oil, which I mix with turps for my oil paint. Then, at the bottom here, we have drawing inks. So, these are just if... I'm feeling very very like quick like I just want to quickly sketch something out and I don't want to use materials that I've spent a lot of money on these are just like what schools kind of use and it's just big inks that you know I don't mind wasting a little bit so the last thing that we've got on this tray is artist gloss varnish this one is by Windsor & Newton and it's a spray which is really really handy and I have actually used this one a lot so I would really recommend that and I think you can get it in matte as well if you don't like the shine and gloss. Okay, so moving on to the second tray. This is a beautiful homemade kitchen roll holder. Um, as you can see, it's very symmetrical and very well made. Um, joke. <laughs> this was literally a bit of copper that uh, my uncle gave me and I just thought, oh, I wonder if I can shove it in them holes. And it did, it did shove in the holes. So it's brilliant for holding the kitchen roll because you just sort of like reel it off and it's perfect. Um, so that's that. And the good old big version of the titanium white because obviously we go through a lot of titanium white, don't we? Um, and th this shelf just holds various different brands and colours of acrylic paint. So these are bigger versions than the top tray because they're probably the colours that I use the most. So we've got white, we've got a lot of greens, and we've got orange blues. Um, and then we've got the odd iridescent paint which is absolutely beautiful. Um, like this Pivo one, um, that's really really pretty. Then we have these golden acrylics, uh, which are quite difficult to get hold of in the UK. So if you're in the US and it's easy to get hold of these, you are very lucky. This one I've talked about in a different video before. This is an iridescent pearl sort of additive that you add to the paint. 
it's really really beautiful and you can mix it with colours or you can use it on its own and it's very very pretty and if you like shimmery things in your artwork I would definitely recommend getting this. The other one is just a regular gel which is matte. This can be used in so many different ways. You can either add it to the paint to make it more gel like consistency, you can add it to paint to make the paint last longer. The way I've used it in the past is if I've not wanted the, like, the grains of canvas to show up, I've got a palette knife and then sort of spread it across, a bit like you're spreading butter on some bread, and it kind of just like fills in all those little gaps on the canvas. And then when you leave it to dry, obviously you've got a really nice smooth surface to work on, and that's how I've used it in the past. It is also really good to use on surfaces um, like paper and wooden things like the GAC was if you want to use oil paint on them and you can't because it's got harsh chemicals in again that's really good to use underneath oil paint so I think that's tray is pretty much done it's just all paint so onto the top tray which I think is the most exciting one um, first we have a lovely kitchen towel which as you can probably guess isn't used in the kitchen anymore. <laughs> the towels are really good because I used to use paper towels all the time for any kind of painting I did and I just felt like I was being a little bit wasteful because I'd use it and it'd instantly get soaked and it'd instantly get paint everything and then I'd just throw it away and I felt like I was, I don't know, just throwing away a lot of paper towels and I just thought, I just felt like a bit guilty and so that's where I had the idea to use just like a kitchen towel. So I don't use this for oil paint, I use um, the kitchen roll for oil paint because then I can screw it up and throw it away and like the fumes are gone and it's not dangerous and that kind of thing. But I always use this if I'm doing watercolours or acrylics because it just dries and then you can just use it again and it's fine. I would really recommend getting a towel if you use acrylics or watercolours. Okay, so the next thing is my paints. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, so these are my acrylic paints in a beautiful little basket one of my best friends bought me. These are basically just the smaller tubes of acrylic paint that I use on a regular basis. So in here is pretty much every colour you can think of. Um, there is a mixture of Windsor & Newton Artist Acrylic, Kryler Artist Acrylic, which I recently found out isn't that available in the US so I'm sorry for always shoving that in your face if you can't get it. <laughs> I've not tried a lot of other brands and I've got these simply because they're easy for me to get you know it's not like I've tried loads of different brands and these are my absolute favourites it's just these are the ones I've bought before and I like them so I just keep buying them. So that is all those. Oh favourite colours Favourite colour is olive green, artist acrylic by Windsor & Newton. I think that's got to be the fave. Okay, so all the favourite paints are Mission Gold watercolour set. These are beautiful. I have actually made a video on these already, so I'll like link it up in the screen somewhere. Um, these are just so vibrant and absolutely beautiful to use. Oh, I can't sing their praises enough. So yeah, as I say, that is, they're made by Mission Gold. And I think it's a Korean company or, yeah, I think it is. I'm not totally sure. Next thing up here is my sketchbook. I like to keep this really handy so I can just grab it and, you know, just get to it very, very easily if I want to. So I'm not gonna show you too much in there because I might do another sketchbook tour when this one's full. But I mean, we've only, I've only filled up that amount of pages, so it might be a while away yet. Okay, so on to brushes. This jar is just full of Bixie brushes and bits and bobs that I didn't know what jar to put them in, so they've got a jar of their own. These two are kind of just jumbles of like the long handle ones. What are they called? I don't know what they're called, just long handle ones. Um, so we've got, oh, I can't carry them all. 
So I've got Winsor and Newton ones, which are hard bristle, which are really lovely. And what else do I like? Got some absolutely lovely Bob Ross filbert ones there, but they're just a little bit too soft for my liking, to be honest. Got lovely big ones that I use on a regular basis to block in like my first few layers. And then these are called Hake brushes or it's spelled like hake but I don't know how you pronounce it. And these are really good for blending, so like if you want to blend in clouds and stuff like that, they're really handy. So that is that. This jar is for all my palette knives, which I have quite a few. They're starting to like build up a little bit these. Um, palette knives are always handy and they're great to have in lots of different sizes as well. And these are my watercolour brushes, so the, this jar is literally just for watercolour brushes. Um, so I mean in here, I think my favourite, one of my favourites is the Kalinsky Sable by Windsor & Newton. Just so soft and beautiful and absorbs so much water and flash paint. So I think with watercolour, because the brushes, as long as you wash them well enough, they last a really long time, so I've got only a few watercolour brushes but that they're really really good ones so I don't have to like, you know, regularly buy new ones of those. So I would recommend if you want to tr like start with watercolour and you think you will really get into it, I would recommend buying better brushes but not as many, if that makes sense. Even if you just buy two, that would be enough, like if you buy one for like fine detail and then one to cover like a lot of area. I honestly think that would be a good way to go. Okay, and last but not least is this little fella hiding, and this is my Winsor & Newton Indian ink, and in black obviously, and it's beautiful. Really, really lovely, and it's absolutely fabulous if you just want to sketch out something, but you want it to be really intense. That's just great to experiment with. So that is my art car. I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. Um, I'm really interested to know what you guys thought of that video actually, whether you enjoyed it or if it was really boring. <laughs> so if you guys have any video requests or ideas, please let me know. You know, sometimes I'm not quite sure exactly what you guys want to see, so just let me know in the comments. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I will link the products down below, which might take me a while. <laughs> So if there's anything that you're wondering exactly what it is and where to buy it from, you can check in the description box. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a lovely, lovely day.